because it's Holly here for PlayStation Access and I've got one of my favourite people. I haven't spoken to you like two years the last time I spoke to you yes. at Gamescom. With, yeah. It was in a garden and Jim Ryan was sort of patrolling around behind <laughs> us. And you just come off stage. Yes. Uh, and it has been a while. It has been a very long time. Yes. You've been very busy. Um, yeah. yeah. We're always really yeah. busy. Uh, so we've just seen uh, a new demo, which was... It just, it really finally hammered it home. I was just like, it's not just great because you can explore the universe, but like, it's a game. <laughs> that sounds really daft, but like, it was like this beautiful, limitless thing, and now it's like a beautiful, limitless game. Yeah, I think that's the <laughs> idea, right? And it's always been the idea. Like, there's a weird thing, which is, most of the time when we've had the opportunity to show the game, it's about these amazing things like E3, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. On stage. And it's really hard in something like that to go, hold up everyone, I'm going to show you the inventory UI screen, you know? But that to me is really exciting. But that's you know, what brings it's it like, life. This is how you upgrade your weapon. But it doesn't, probably, it's probably not the right moment. Yeah, like the 30 <laughs> seconds <laughs> like, I've got, uh, yeah. you just want me to zoom out let for me, 30 let seconds. Let me just show you the pause menu and talk you through some of the options. <laughs> Here's you know? the health bar. In. Um, yeah, exactly. But that's what I want to do, because that's what interests me in games because I'm really into mechanics obviously as a yeah. developer but I think why people like every game has the inventory screen yeah. and every game has the you know the upgrade menu or whatever um, and what's different about our game is the kind of scale and the like dinosaurs and things like that so we, so we focus I guess on that kind of stuff or at least that's what people want to yeah. see um, but now it's like it's nice to just sit down with people and just show them the game and let them play the game and also a lot of that stuff is like coming together you know um, you kind of as you progress through development of a game you start to feel more comfortable with things <laughs> and there's a lot of things that we haven't talked about so let's start with I want to talk with the maths yeah. because one of the biggest Probably the most popular question I always see is that I don't understand how, right? Because if a game's that big, all games would be that big. But there's not enough memory. So you talked about sine waves when you were giving our presentation. <laughs> but can you just describe to people how the game calculates and builds the planets in a way that means that anyone who then returns to it gets the same experience and how the game can still function? Yeah, I think, I think this is like probably a thing that I'm really excited it's to talk cool. about. But I don't think it's cool. In fact, it I'm cool. pretty sure. It is cool. If there's one thing that life has taught me and my interests have taught me is that maths actually isn't that cool. And I've learned that the hard way. Um, but the game, like, it is useful to explain that to people. Yeah. So the game, everything you see around you is the output from a yeah. maths function. And the input to that maths function is where you're stood, right? And since the input's the same, and maths is maths, then the output will always be the same. What you see around you will always be the same. So if you see a tree on top of a mountain, then if like you fly to that planet and fly to that mountain and land on that mountain, that tree will be there. Yeah. And it's generated around you there and then, um, yeah. which is cool. And it lives in the memory of the like of so it the PS4 there and there. It doesn't always exist. It like no. it is built when you need it to be there. Exist. Yeah. yeah. Um, as you're flying towards it, it's like generating that tree, and you'll see that as you play the game. And then uh, when you fly away, it's gone, right? It's just thrown away. Um, but if you fly back, it'll be generated again, and it'll be in the exact same place. The same so for we, everybody, though, right? Right. And that means we don't have to really store that much, um, which is cool. Like, And it's how it's possible for a really small team to make a really big game. So that and complete lack of sleep. Obviously. So what happens if, because when you were playing, you took a gun and you blew like a, a way out of a cave. Yeah. So what happens then if someone else visits that so planet? Does that really, exist? So that's a really good question. Like small things yeah. like that, we don't upload to the cloud okay. and things like that, because that would mean that you would always have to be connected online to yeah. see those things. And, Which we're not. And I think it's good that the game can be played offline and online. Um, and these things are pretty insignificant. Like, if I'm on a planet, and it's a planet-sized planet, like, me shooting a hole in it is tiny, like, so insignificant. Me shooting a bird is nothing, or a fish, <laughs> or something like that. But it is saved for you. Yeah. So if you've done that, you fly away and you okay. come back, 
and you've written your name in the snow or whatever, then that will be there for you. And if you've killed some creatures and those creatures are dead, uh, you know, sad though that is, <laughs> um, but it's not shared for everyone. But there are some significant things you can do and they are shared right. amongst people. You know, so if you do, if you try and destroy a space station or something like that, which is a really difficult thing to do, um, then that's gone and that's scratched out for everyone and that's kind of nice. There you go. Well, thank you very much. That is a whistle-stop tour of the maths behind it, so how it's actually going to work. But I do think me and Jackson from the Access team are now going to talk about everything you've just shown us because you're a really popular man. <laughs> um, we're going to leave it there. I'm going to try and grab you in the future, though, because okay. I really want you to do more of this for Access. And I really want you to be able to one day show our community what you showed us today, and I think they're going to love it. And I think they're really just going to get lost in the universe. Sounds oh, cool. Thank you so much. Thank it's so you. good to see you again.